name is Mr. Corbin, and today's lesson is written multiplication, and specifically looking at two digit by one digit multiplication, and two digit by two digit. Okay, I have aptly named this old style, and this is probably the way that you were taught at school. Okay, first of all, let's do 46 multiplied by 7. 7 times 6 is 42. Put my 2 in here, and I'm going to carry my 4 up here. I'm going to put a circle around it to forget, so I don't forget to add it on. The second thing I'm going to do, 7 times 4 is 28. Add 4 is 32. Answer, 322. Doing it this way just shows a method. It doesn't show me about any of the value of the, uh, the numbers in the calculation. Okay, we're going to do it again, and this time, this is the way that we teach the students at Sol Foreign British School. We're going to use a splitting method, and we're going to try and use place value. Now, the first thing that we encourage them to do, first of all, is do some rounding by estimating. So I'm going to estimate the answer 46 times 7. Now, using my rounding skills, 46, I'm going to round it up to 50. So my estimate is going to be 50 multiplied by 7. And I know that 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 50 is 350. Now I must know that my answer will be close to this because this is my estimate. So the, the way that we do it is we're going to split it up into 40 and 6. 40 times 7, 6 times 7. Again, this is a clear method of what we're doing. Uh, 6 times 7 is 42. Thankfully, I know my times tables. And 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 40 is 280. Again, I line them up in the correct columns of hundreds, tens, and units. And then I add them together. 2, 8 add 4 is 12. 2 add 1 is 3 gives me the answer of 322. Now let's move on to long multiplication. A little bit more confusing and more things can go wrong. Let's start first of all with how you would have done it in school or how I think you would have done it. First thing is we're going to do 7 times 5. That makes 35. 5 in there, and we're going to put the 3, it's going to be our carry. Second thing, 7 times 3, 21. Add 3, 24. Then we need to multiply by this 4, which really, and this is the only place value that you see, this 4 is actually 40. So we can actually put a 0 in here to indicate that it's a 40. Let's carry on. 4 times 5 is 20, 0. And I'm going to carry my 2. 4 times 3 is 12. Add my 2 is 14. Now I add them together. 5, 4, 6, 1. Giving me the answer of 1,645. That's probably how you were taught to do it. Our students get taught this method, but this is the method that we prefer. And there's actually two of them. The first one is called the box method. first thing the students do is they draw what I call a window of success. And here's my window. I look at the numbers 35 and 47. Before I even start, I want to do an estimate. If I round this one, this will give me 40, and this one will give me 50. So my estimate would be 4 times 5 is 20, 40 times 50 is 2,000. So I know my answer will need to be around that sort of number. Then I split my numbers up, similar to a uh, previous lesson. 30, 5, 40, 7. Now what I do is multiply each uh, number by a corresponding one. So 30 and 40 multiplied together. 1,200, 30 multiplied by 7, 
210. 7 times 5, 35. 40 times 5 is 200. Now many students try and add those up in their head to get an answer, which usually can work. I always encourage them to write out the numbers to avoid making a silly mistake near the end. Again, we must write them in the right columns. 5, 4, 6, 1. Giving us the same answer, 1,645. By drawing the box, it's clear that you need to have four answers. This is a good method and I encourage you, uh, students to use it. Another method that you could use in exactly the same sort of approach, again we will do our estimate and then we will move on and we will go 35 times 47. But this time we're actually going to look at the value of the digits. So we'll use the same um, order of calculations. 7 times 5 that's 35. 7 times 30, that's 210. 40 times 5 is 200. 40 times 30, 1,200. And you'll notice these are exactly the same numbers that we use in the box method. Add them together and it will give us exactly the same answer. That's today's lesson. Multiplication using written strategies.